what I love about this environment, it's forever changing. Nothing's the same on any one day. It's very deep, I guess, why I love, why I love the ocean. As a longline fisherman, Adam's love for the environment he works in has driven him to protect the seabirds around him. We're out here in their environment, so got to show respect for, you know, everything that's around. All of us longliners set at night to avoid the seabirds. The Tory line, it's a, it's a very simple piece of equipment, but uh, very effective. It's basically just a line, has streamers off it and scares the birds away from the baited hooks, really. Formal one in New Zealand, every skipper and crew has to be trained in seabird smart fishing. It's about a mindset, it's a way of being. While it looks simple on the surface, the effort, thinking and technology being applied by the industry to protect our environment is yielding world-leading innovation. We're putting a lot of effort into traceability in terms of monitoring uh, live where our vessels are, putting cameras on our boats. The cameras roll 24-7, so there's no hiding anything. Adam Clow on the Southern Cross, he's currently in Tauranga, so I can basically zoom out on Tauranga, see where he is. At the moment we're running a seabird trial um, using cameras that can detect bird captures. If Adam caught a bird, that bird would be automatically detected on this uh, camera system and it'll be flagged. The efforts in mitigation and innovation can be seen from the smallest to the largest vessels operating in our waters. Deep sea trawlers now have a new tool that enables them to precisely target a species while minimising the bycatch. It's been a massive change in both technology and thinking in the 30 years I've been in the industry. The quota system works really well and to protect that we've got to be able to catch what we, we say we're going to catch and not catch things we don't want to catch. It's hard to assess a stock of fish. Over the years there's been a lot of conjecture and problems with identifying fish. With the AOS acoustic optical system, acoustic meaning sounder, it's got echo sounders on it, and optical means it has video and still photography on it. We can put that down there and in real time we can see what the fish is, you know, so we know exactly what we're catching. You always have a picture in your head of what's down there, but it's, it was so cool to see that what, what really is there, what, what it is. One of the most exciting new technologies being developed in New Zealand is a new type of trawl net called Precision Seafood Harvesting, PSH. When I first saw the PSH, it, it blew me away. And, and you could see that that's something big. You've got minimal water flow, uh, almost nil, and the fish are basically holding station, they're not under stress, and it's like they're just swimming in an aquarium. Some of the smaller fish tend to get drawn to the outside of the bag and they just get sucked out through the holes. And then we've got a tank on deck with water in it as well, so you drop the fish from water into water. The fish that we don't want, those species go back in the water alive and swim away. That's huge. That's undersized, that'll go back in the water. He's gone. We're very happy with it, very happy. PSH is still in, in development, and this vessel here is just about to leave taking the PSH gear. This will be the biggest vessel it's been on so far, so this is a 70 metre vessel. The level of technical innovation is truly exciting. It's driven by education, and the change in culture within the industry over the past decade is striking. We have to be leaders. You know, people have to do the right thing, make the right decisions. All of these guys have been to the workshops, done in the classroom stuff, and then they go after that up the top of the mountains and get to touch the chicks, help the scientists, learn about it, uh, just get one-on-one you know, -on -one and that sort of creates a bit of a bond. You know, you're not getting told what to do, you actually want to do it and that's how you get a result. <laughs>